What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This will be the final episode for Max Rossholt, so please send your characters in in the comments down below. We're going to be diving in today. This is the final, final episode for him. His first title defense in today's episode is against Jack Hermansen. Jack the Joker, a very, very interesting opponent. Very good on the ground. He's got some decent striking as well. I'm going to be looking, to be honest, to uh, increase our bottom game if I can. Uh, we've got a lot of points here, so yeah, we're going to try and upgrade that as much as possible. Uh, then I think we're going to go for some other stuff here. Maybe some leg strength, some cardio is looking pretty good. Our chin strength is looking good. I'm going to go to the body, to be honest. We're going to go with that. I don't think we're going to be able to be a five-star fighter, but we're definitely up there, you know. But let's rock and roll. We're going to be diving in today against Jack Hermanson. 23-5, decent record. Looking forward to seeing if Max Rossholt can take out another middleweight and still be deemed as one of the best on the channel. It's going to be interesting. Only losing once in the WFA when he was a very, very different kind of fighter. One thing I will say about Max Rossholt, he he has really, really evolved. You know, he started his career, he wasn't really good on the feet, and uh, he was getting pieced up there a little bit. If he couldn't get a fight to the ground, he was kind of in trouble. But um, recently, you know, he's been really, really tuned in on his boxing. Right, and uh, we've seen a really, really interesting fighter evolve. Um, and here he is, man, atop of the pile still as a champion. A middleweight champion now. He, he started in welterweight. He won the WFA belt. He won the UFC welterweight title twice. He beat it. He beat Robbie. Was it so Robbie Lawler? No, it was Nate Diaz. Beat Nate Diaz, and then he lost it, and then to Tyron Woodley he lost it, and then he beat Robbie Lawler, and then the rematch against Tyron Woodley, he beat him, and then he went up for the super fight against, I believe, who was it against? I can't even remember. Edmund Shabazian was the uh, middleweight champion. Here we go. I'm excited to see how this fight goes. I know uh, it's going to be a tough one. I know that. Ross Holt there is ready, jumping up and down, ready for a good show, ready for war. Jack Hermanson. Ready as well. Right, Let's so go. He's a bigger boy. But then again, they all are a middleweight, man. We are a natural welterweight, so. There we go. Dropping him with the leg kick there. And ripping the body. I know Hermanson very good on the ground. I might just try and box him, to be honest. So he doesn't want to play with Ross Holt on the ground. Ross Holt is a savage when it comes to the wrestling, so. And Manson, he really should be careful here, bro. He should be very, very careful. He can just do this all day. This isn't doing much. You know, this is where it's a problem. Now, we know where he's going from here. We know 100% where he's going to go. This ain't shit, though. This ain't shit. We've got five rounds of this, boy. This is different. There we go. All day. Let's go. I'm going to try and deny a few transitions, then we're going to try and get back to our feet. I'm going to try and box Hermanson. Oh, we didn't get up there, really? We didn't get up there. Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's real good. It looks like he's getting in deep. Are you watching another fight, DC? Brother. Oh, he's just going to spam submissions for a bit. Okay, well, that's cool. I guess. That's, that's a bit crazy, that. You can just spam submissions, but there you go. I think it's time to try and get it back to the feet. No, nope, okay. No, it's not. Okay, well. Interesting first round for Ross Holt. I'm just waiting on the transitions, man. He can do this all day. This ain't shit. Here we go. It's interesting to see Max want to get up, you know? I feel like he's, uh, he's boxing is better. Is it? Is that it? Oh, break. Here we go. Now, I know Hermanson has got some nice boxing. And I know definitely he's got some nice ground game. I feel like when it comes to the feet, I feel like Rossolt is the better striker. Let's go. Now it's my turn, boy. Now it's my turn. Let's see what you got. Now it is turns for the demon. Let's see. Let's see what you're about now. That's fine. I knew it was coming. We're all good, bro. We're all good. I think he might have got that. There we go. Okay. Every now and again, we just want to... Oh, we busted him open with that one. That's cool. That's cool. All right. What's good? What's good? He's dipping them, but we are landing, man. We are landing. Man, how fun is this to watch we are landing hard, too. Nope. With the and Take it back to the days there we go. Like Mark He's in trouble, bro. 
Oh, nice. The Manson hurt there at the end of that round. Ross Holt, you know, you know, he, you know, when he just flips it over, he's like, okay, now it's my turn. Now it is my turn. I feel like we won the round, maybe. Uh, but there you go. We're going to keep rolling with this one. Good start to the fight. Round two. Second round underway. Mad respect, Hermanson. You go out, man. Come on, the uppercut there. Buzzing there with that hook. Okay. Oh, nice elbow there off the clinch. Really nice elbow. Ross Holt getting tagged here. Oh! What a shot from uh, good old Ross Holt there, though. I'm trying to tee off to the body a little bit. If I can. Oh, big up and cut. Drops him. I thought he was going to get up there. What a shot there for Ross Holt. Trying to get hold of him. Sweep. Now what? I'm going to try and mount him. Oh, no. Hermanson. Can he get out of this? I don't know. Another reversal's there. All right, so he postures up here and now Oh, bombing him on with these shots, too. I don't know if he can... I, I don't know, because he, he's good on the ground. I don't know if he can submit me. I don't think he can from here. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he reversed it. Up to a there. Oh, no. I hate these submissions. Head of worst. All right, we're out, though. We're out. Not much fuss there. There we go. All righty. Oh! I didn't see that coming. Try a high takedown here. See if we can land one. Nope. Decent defense there for Hermanson. I can flip him again. That's working so well, that, that takedown. He did get up, though. Two points, though. I think he got that nice. Try and reverse this in a second. Nice, here we go. Rear naked choke, maybe? No. It's, it's hard because this dude, you know, he's good on the ground. Right, we got it that time. We denied the transition. We got the choke in. We haven't tried to submit him yet. I don't know how his submission defense is going to be. I guess we'll see. We've got a decent submission. Oh, turn it over. That's in. That's in. I think, anyway. Is that, that's an armbar, too. That's over. A fast armbar submission. Max Rossholm gets it done. Wow. Another title defense. Goes down. Very, very good. Big win there for the Demon. Let's go. So we turn it over. Rear naked choke. He was able to get an arm and then just put the leg over the head. And we managed to lock in an armbar. Huge win. Hermanson had some good success early. But I do feel like it, it kind of changed when we got up. And we was able to land a lot of strikes on the feet. We dropped him a few times. Desperation shot in. And uh, Max really locked in an armbar. He can submit you from anywhere on the ground, man. That dude is a savage. There we go. Ross Hobb gets it done again. In what could be one of his final title fights. I feel like he's got one more in him. The, the, depending on if we go five rounds or one. I feel like we got one more fight in us. And then we're going to sail off into the sunset. Let's go. Again, another second round finish for the Demon. What a win there for Max Rossell. Absolutely huge. We're going to keep going, man. We're going to keep going. Big win against Jack Hermanson. Really, really taking him out there with that um, with that grappling. You know, I was surprised to think that he'd uh, turn it over to an armbar. I didn't know what he was going to turn it over into. I hit the chain button and we managed to get an armbar finished there. That was crazy. Here we go. We'll see what's next for us. I'm hopefully thinking we get someone like uh, Robert Whittaker, maybe as our final fight. Um, I don't know. I want someone big, though. Maybe a Darren Till, someone like that. I do feel like Darren Till would get taken down like a lot against Ross Holt. And uh, it would be a bad night for him. I do feel like if we stayed on the feet, though, vice versa. I feel like Darren Till would smoke Ross Holt when it comes to the striking. But there we go. A big win over Jack the Joker. What is next for the Demon? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, we got John Anakin DC there. That's really cool. We haven't seen that one before. That's pretty cool. Is this... Uh, okay, so Adi Sanya and uh, Yo Romero, I believe, right there. 
I wish it showed us actual fights instead of like past events that's happened. I wish it showed us fights that have happened. And there we go, another title defense for the demon. There we go. Let's keep rolling in this one. Let's see. We got probably one more fight in us, I think. Uh, we got a new contract, but that doesn't matter. We got one more fight in us, and then we are sailing off into the sunset. So uh, let's just do any bonus we can. Um, let's go. It doesn't matter. One more fight, and Ross Holt is retired. And then we're going to go and see who is next in terms of submitting subscriber fighters. So let me know down in the comments below. Name, second name, fight style, weight class, backstory, his weaknesses, what path you want them to take, their strengths and weaknesses, and uh, yeah, what I mean by what path is, uh, you know, oh, we got some people retiring here. Man, um, yeah, so weaknesses is like, you know, Ross Holt didn't have great stamina to begin with, and uh, it kind of cost him a few fights, uh, but there you go. Um, so Shabazzian we've beat. We've beat Jack Amanson. We haven't fought Costa, we haven't fought Till. We haven't fought a few of these guys, you know, a few of these guys in the top 10 I would like to take out, but like I said, one more fight in us. And then off into the sunset is Max Rossholt. Let's see who it's going to be. Hopefully, I'm hopefully thinking Till, Gastelum, Whitaker, Frank Singleton. Get the fuck out of here, man. Who are you? Who are you? No disrespect, bro, but we do want a real fight before we sail off into the sunset. Who's it going to be? Don't give me a bot. Kelvin Gastelum, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Gastelum's a good fight. Let's roll. The final fight is here, guys. Smash the like button for Max Rossholt. He's ending it here. His final fight. Let's see how it goes, man. Let's rock and roll. The final fight is here for Max Rossholt's amazing career. We're going to be diving in today, though, and uh, putting in some uh, evolution points before we end it off. So uh, we're going to rock and roll. We're going to try and get maximum footwork. Let's go for maximum punch speed as well, if we haven't already. Oh, no, we can't. Damn it, man. That's annoying. Uh, kick power we're going to go for, and uh, we're going to leave it at that. You know, We're just going to increase our character as much as we can. We are still a four and a half star fighter, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Kelvin Gastelum is the final fight for Max Rossholt's career. This will be the final fight of the episode. Even if we submit him in the first five seconds, it's over. Max Rossholt sailing off into the sunset. There isn't one more if uh, if it, if he smokes him very quickly. You know, this is going to be it. The final fight. Send in your characters down in the comments below. I'm going to keep the ball rolling, and maybe in like two days, we'll have another UFC series. You know, I'm going to keep it being very, very active. Keep the ball rolling, you know, keep the momentum of UFC 4. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But here we go, Ross Holt v. Gastelum. It's about to go down, man. Very, very excited for this one. This is going to be a tough fight. Uh, Gastelum, you know, very good on standing. He's decent or he's wrestling as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this one goes. He did recently lose to Darren Till. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. This could be a tough one if, uh, if we let it be, I think. I think if Gastelum gets in his rhythm and gets in his groove, we're going to have a tough fight. But I do feel like Ross Holt can get in there and cause some trouble. Obviously being a mid, uh, welterweight even. Both of these guys were welterweights, so it's not like we're kind of out of our depth here. Says Gastelum's in blue trunks. That is not blue to me. That to me looks like grey. Uh, but there you go. <laughs> or white even. There we go. Oh! Oh, nice. Gastelum does get straight back up, though. But a nice takedown. Okay, you don't want to do that, Kelvin. You're going to find yourself in the wrong end of a guillotine here, brother. Let's see what his defense is like, though. So far, we're on him. Let's see if we can stay there, though. Okay, so far, it seems like Kelvin's doing a little bit better. Oh, I counted it. I hit the wrong button. I hit X. Fuck, man. Okay, you got to be super quick with those. Let's see what Kelvin's got. Again, not great in terms of his submission defense, bro. Oh, good. But he is on top, though. This is what happened with Hermanson. This ain't good. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control. Because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. Try and get up here. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous. Nice, but this is a bad position to be in. There we go. Back up. Like a half guard. Big liver kick. Clicking with that kick there. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge. Oh, good shot for Gastelum, though. Big powerful punch land. Nice. Get back to range. Really trying to land that head kick in this fight, man. Shot there for Gastelum. Oh, okay. 
Nice head kick there. Sends him into a hurt state. Okay. Also very, very diverse in his striking. Beautiful. Dropped him. Waited for it there. Nice defense by Gastelum. Oh, oh. Driving us up. This ain't good. Flips us. Nice. Nice ground game there for Gastelum. Try. Try and get him in a triangle. Nope. Guillotine. Oh, we locked it in. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this in time, to be honest. But we try my hardest here. He might get a finish. I don't know. Fucked up the counter again, the man. Them counters are annoying, bro. Okay, we're not even gonna bother defending. I mean, look at the look at the time. There we go. Okay. Nearly got him though. Nearly caught him there. Let's keep grinding. I feel like we can lock him out on the feet, to be honest. We're landing a lot of nice shots. Let's see. Mad respect, Kelvin. Let's go. Okay, not bad. Okay. Oh. Oh. Cracked him there. Rossholt looking good. Man, that kick just does not want to land to It does to the body. Nice. Oh, big shot there for Kelvin. Rossholt's down. I don't know what happened there. Oh, big body shot. It's fine. Trying to get it to a back sitting position here. Kelvin could do this. Hermanson done the same and it didn't really bother me in the slightest I don't think yeah, well not really anyway we're naked here is where we need to focus because we can chain this and get a really quick submission I might not talk there we go there we go baby there isn't a counter here either this is over Kelvin Gastelum taps out another armbar two armbars in this video Max Russell retires as champion. It is done. This man is a legend. The demon is done. He ends his career on top, which is just amazing to see. Gastelum there, though. Mistakes, mistakes from every single fighter in this career mode that shoot in for a takedown. The reason we didn't increase our takedown defense is because we had such good guillotines and triangles that we could throw up on the bottom. It did remind me, as in a sense, of Tony Ferguson. You know, we had we had that good uh, ability to be able to end the fights. And uh, as we see right there, Rossol gets it done again. He's very dangerous on his back. He's he's just as dangerous on top, but he's very dangerous on his back as well. And there we go. Two armbar submissions. I'll take it. Rossol ends his career as the middleweight champion. Amazing to see. It's done. It's done. Rossol is finished. A amazing champion. What a beast. He is done. Uh, that was a really good career as well, man. I enjoyed this one a lot. From the up and downs in the WFA to the up and downs in the UFC, coming back and winning the BMF title off Gamebred, winning the WFA title to start things off. Then we won the welterweight strap. We lost it, came back, won the BMF title against uh, Jorge Masvidal. Then we won the welterweight strap again, beating uh, Robbie Lawler, our rival, and uh, then coming back again and with the super fight, beating Edmund Shabazian for the middleweight title. Max Rossol had a very good career and uh, a lot of finishes. We went to a decision once and the only time we went to a decision we lost the fight. Max vowed to never hear from the judges again and he didn't. He, he went in there and smoked everybody and got smoked as well. You know, he got knocked out cold by Woodley. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what an amazing career. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, there is a few fighters that I would have liked to have faced off against. Uh, one of them being Darren Till, Robert Whittaker. Uh, but I do feel like if we play, whenever we play as a middleweight, you know, we're going to bump into some of those guys. So the title defense is being a middleweight. We have Kelvin Gastelum on there. We have Jack Hermanson, Edmund Shabazian, Israel Adesanya, and Edmund Shabazian again. We are a very, very good decorated middleweight champion, smashing this division to pieces. And uh, what a career it has been. Like I said, send your fighters down in the comments below, man. It is time for a new fighter.
I don't know where you guys want to go, whether you want to go to the WFA again, whether you want to go straight into the UFC, whether you want to go into the Contender Series, let me know down in the comments below. But for this one, it is over. If uh, we could check the GOAT status real quick, I want to see how many submissions we've had. We have had 10 submissions in this career with 5 knockouts, 15 finishes, 16 UFC fights. We have become a 2 division world champion with 9 consecutive title defenses and uh, 11 consecutive wins. Absolutely insane. Another thing I will show you guys real quick is the fight history before we do end it. So we have had a lot of fights in this career and a lot of them have been in the UFC. I, I thought it was more in the WFA. I was completely wrong. So uh, these were all WFA. We, uh, we lost to Schmitz. And then we came back on a little bit of a win streak here. And we didn't actually lose. After we lost to Smith, we didn't lose again until Tyron Woodley. So we beat uh, we beat Wise. Then we beat Smirnov. We beat Smith again. And then we beat Smirnov again. Then we fought all of for the WFA title. Then it was time for the big leagues. UFC, we joined and fought Robbie Lawler. Then we fought Alex Oliveira there with another crazy fight. Both of these, we fought so many times in the same year. We fought in January. Then we fought again a few months later. And then we fought again in October, beating Cowboy Oliveira. Then in February, we fought Nate Diaz for the welterweight title. Then Colby Covington in uh, August. We fought Colby Covington. And uh, that was it for that year. Then Tyron Woodley. In uh, the 30th of January, we got smoked, knocked out cold. We came back. Uh, we had a little bit of time off, as you can see there, against Donald Cerrone. And uh, there we go, man. We came back and got a very big win there over Cowboy. 2028 marked the year that we won our title back. 20, uh, 25th of March, uh, we got it back against Robbie Lawler. And then in September, we defended it against Ponzinibbio. That marked the end of 2028. 2029, though, the BMF title was on the line. And with it was a big win for good old Max Rosshole. We kept going in 2029. In August, we defended our title against Nate Diaz again. And then in January of 2030, we fought Tyron Woodley for the welterweight strap. We needed that revenge, man, after he smoked us in the first fight. And we got it. And then in the August, in August, Edmund Shabazian against Max Rosshole was there. We took the middleweight title from him. And then in 2031, Israel Adesanya. And then Edmund Shabazian again. So we don't really have that many active years, to be fair. We have, like, in two fights in 2032, we beat Jack Hermanson in February. And then we beat Kelvin Gastelum in September. I think our most active years were probably at the beginning of a career, which does kind of make sense. Uh, 2022, we had three fights. We have Gonzalez, Pryde, and Smiths. And then every year after, it seemed like two fights, you know, uh, which is a bit crazy. Anyway, enough rambling on. I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please smash the like button. Comment and subscribe, and I will see you. Bro, why is, why is Shabazian tweeting shit? We, not, we, we smoked you twice, bro, with the same submission. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Take it easy. Send in your fighters, boys. I'll see you all again very soon. Have a good one.